Okay, let's get into some wholesaling stuff right now, okay? Uh, why can I not see my chat? Why am I not understanding? Like, where does my chat go? I don't understand. When I click on chat, why does it, come, why does it not come up? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand Zoom. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, I can pull up maybe Q. Oh, there's chat. Okay. Let me just make sure. Been through the 2008, just getting back now. Okay, good. We see been through the ups and downs of the cycle over the last 20 years. See, there's an opportunity time to invest. Awesome. I love it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing like anybody was saying, ah, you're like, I can't hear you or something. Okay. Awesome. All right. And then we have some like uh, some questions here, but I'll answer these questions at the end. Okay. If you have any questions, just put them into the Q and A it would be perfect. And I'll just pull those up and I'll ask them at the end. Okay. So now let's get into wholesaling. Actually, uh, can you guys put into the chat also like who actually wholesales, who knows how to wholesale and like who doesn't know how to wholesale you newbie, you know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Right. So put it in the chat so I can see kind of what's going on with that too. Um, so some of the challenges of, of a wholesaling is that you have to find motivated sellers, right? You don't know how to close the deal. You don't know how to make, you have to make several different offers, right? You have to make a lot of different offers. How do you make offers to like an owner of a property, especially a storage facility, right? So how do you make these offers? How do you, how do you find the buyers? Where do you find the buyers that have to buy these storage facilities, okay? So, um, so those are just some of the challenges that we're going to get to today. All right. So let's get started on wholesaling. And if you already have wholesale, you'll, you'll understand the process, excuse me, but I just wanted to get in to, um, to wholesaling and kind of what it is. So everybody has an idea. Okay. I love wholesaling. Y'all wholesaling to me is the gateway drug into real estate investing. All right. I've been wholesaling also since the very, my, my very first deal was a wholesale deal. So I've been wholesaling for 10 years. All right. And um, I just love wholesaling because essentially the way that wholesaling works is if you can wholesale a property and it doesn't matter what property it is, any type of property, you can, you can wholesale anything. You can wholesale land, you can wholesale storage facilities, you can wholesale houses, commercial buildings, you can wholesale houses, any, any, I mean, anything that you want, you can wholesale, right? So, but you have to learn the basics of what wholesaling is. So essentially wholesaling is your gateway drug. And once you get into wholesaling, guess what? It opens up doors to everything else. So yeah, you can wholesale storage facilities, right? So my student that I'm teaching, one of my students that I'm teaching right now, like all they want to do is just wholesale, right? So they're wholesaling not only storage, but they're wholesaling houses. I mean, land, everything. They're wholesaling it all. That's what I'm teaching them to do. You know what I'm saying? So um so once you learn how to do that though, and once you really get into it, so many other opportunities come, right? Because what happens is that you get all these deals coming across your plate and then you like, you're like, okay, I like, should I wholesale this or should I keep this to myself, right? So you get to have the choice, the option, like, I don't want this one. Let's just wholesale this sucker out. Or yeah, I want to keep this one, right? So that's the, that's the best part about wholesaling is that you get to decide which ones you want to keep or not. Like if you have a totally awesome deal, then you're going to be like, I want to keep this deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you, and if you, you know, and then the other ones you can just wholesale off. So that's why I call it the gateway drug. You get in, you learn how to do it. And then it just opens up opportunities for so many other things. All right. So definitely learn the wholesale. All right. Okay. All right. So the wholesale process, how to wholesale. Okay. And you can wholesale anything, but, a, but storage, especially you want to learn how to wholesale, right? Because you can make some big bucks with storage facilities. There's so many buyers out there. So many buyers of storage facilities because it's so awesome. Like I would rather you honestly keep it if you, if you can keep it. But I get that people want to wholesale it and make some cash or whatever. Totally get that as well too. Okay. Okay. So first you want to, first for the wholesale process, basically what you have to do, number one, is you got to find the property right? And we'll get more into detail of this, but this is just the step-by-step -step process. So you have to find the property, right? So you have to market to find the property. 
All right, if there's, all, there's a whole bunch of different ways we're gonna get to in just a second on how to find properties, okay? And then you have to, and then once, you've, once you find that property, they call you and talk to you, like you have to talk to the seller and you have to be like, yo, wait, like, you know, like, do you wanna sell or not sell? Like, you know, you know how many units is it? Um, you know, how, what square feet is it? You know, what price are you looking for? Are there any issues with it? You know, can I come see it? So you're like negotiating and talking to the seller. All right. And then, um, and then you have to put it under contract, right? So if he says, yeah, like I want to sell it and then you work out the price, then you put it under con under contract. And what you do is you, you use a contract that's an assignable contract, assignable, right? So if you do not know this word, make sure you learn what this word is. Assignable means that you can either keep it yourself or you can sell it to somebody else, right? So essentially, you as a wholesaler are just the middle person. That's it. So you find a buy, and you find a seller, and you find a buyer, and you're the middle person, and you get that little cut. All right. So uh, it's like you can either they can either go to like a broker or a realtor and list it, and then the and the broker gets paid at closing, or they can come to you as the wholesaler as as the wholesaler, and then you just basically are the middle person between like the seller and the buyer. All right. And the very last step is that you find the buyer. You have to go, you have to build your buyer's list and you have to close the deal. And I'm telling you, closing the deal, it's not easy. I don't think there's any deal out there that's easy to close. If you've had an easy deal where you're like, oh, this was so easy. Like that's few and far between. Deals are not easy to close. And essentially all these steps, everything that's involved in wholesaling is not easy. It's not so if anybody telling you wholesaling is easy, they're lying to you, all right? Because there's so many different moving parts. There's so much going on, right? So these are the step-by-step -step processes. But the thing is, is that there's so much going on that you just have to like, you have to be focused and you have to, you know, you have to really know what you're doing, okay? So you find the property, you talk to the seller, you put it under contract and you find a buyer. Ah, you just wholesale the deal, right? That's it. Okay, 